Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a elf haul and I'm super excited for many reasons but one, but this is like, oh my gosh, I just miss doing hauls. But look at the phone case I got for my iPhone. Look how cute that is. But I took it out because like I was gonna film, I'm filming on my iPhone now and I was gonna film, like I put my camera like this but the ear was like, it wouldn't let me go like that. So yeah, um, I did a big order off of elf. Um... Yeah, I spent about a hundred dollars. So, yeah, let's dig in. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is my bag of goodies I got. Um, and real quick, I know my sister. Oh, but did I, say, did I mention my, I'm in my sister's room? So, yeah, this is my sister's room. Welcome. Um, I got my sister a Christmas present already because it was on sale, so I just got it. And it's the Elf um, Studio 11-piece brush collection, so, yeah. She doesn't watch my videos, so, hopefully. But, yeah, this is a Christmas present for her, so I'm not going to open that. Then I got the Elf Studio Eyelash Curler, um, just because I tried the regular one, and I really didn't like it. It, like, pinched my eyes and stuff. And it was just horrible. So, I just, ugh. The eyelash curler isn't horrible. It just, the experience was horrible. So, if you like the eyelash curler, cool. <laughs> but I got the Studio One because it looked more, um, I guess, put together. And it looked more simplified. So, yeah. Got that. And then, into the big old bag. Oh, I don't know what to start with. Well, I'll start with this. Uh, I got three of the e.l.f. Mm, eyeshadow brush. It's just the plain one. I use these all the time, so I just felt the need to get three of them. And I use them on other people. So let me just find the third one real quick. I forgot, like, all the things I ordered. Is that, like, bad? I think that's kind of bad. Anyway, anyway, here's the other one, I think. Yeah, so I got three of these. Because they're a dollar and I'm obsessed with them. And definitely if you're going to go to e.l.f. get these. Just kidding. I got two of these and a smudge brush. So the smudge brush really isn't that different. So whatever. That's a smudge and then that's the regular one. But I swear I thought I got three of these. But yeah, those are that. And then I guess we'll just go ahead on with the brushes. I got two of the small smudge brushes because I like using them for smudging and I like using them as a lip brush. I have a lip stain on right now, which I am freaking obsessed with. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, I'm freaking obsessed with these. I love them. Look at her Halloween costume. Mm -mm. Hiccup. Oh, yeah. And then I got the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush, which I'm so flopping excited about. I'm probably going to use this for bronzer. And I think this is one of the newer brushes. Don't, like, attack me if I'm wrong. But it's, like, almost like the MAC 209 brush. Except maybe a little bit thinner. So I'm so excited to use this. And, like, I need another brush. But still, I'm excited. Then I got me and my sister the e.l.f., obviously, Kabuki Face Brush, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm going to give hers to her for Christmas, so yeah. Those are that. Oh, and did I mention this was all 50% off, so like everything that was a dollar was 50 cents, and then everything that was like three dollars was... Dollar fifty, right? Yeah. So then I also got the angled blush brush, which I love. I was like brushing it on my hand. It's super soft. And then I got this mascara and shadow shield. Just basically looks like that. It has like a little loop right here for mascara and then one for shadow. So I thought that'd be really nice for fallout because I did buy the shadow. I didn't buy the shadow shield, but. Someone get, gifted them to me for my birthday. Um, and, like, I don't know. It had, like, adhesive on it. 
So when I would put it under my eyes, I would already have my foundation on and I would have like a strip of like no foundation and I'd be like, well, that's kind of bad. So I got this and I believe this was about a dollar. So yeah, and it, this part is like silicone. -ish. So it's probably gonna be easy to clean off and that shall be totally fun, right? No, yeah. Then I got the powder brush, which has been raved and raved and raved and raved about on YouTube. So hopefully, it's worth the rave. Um, if you guys want first impressions on any of these, just let me know because I would love to do them for you guys. All right, and then I uh, told you I got three of them. <laughs> I got a Elf brush shampoo just to see how it works. Um. Because I usually, like, make my own. I usually put baby soap, a little bit of alcohol, and a little bit of um, olive oil. And it kind of sucks having to do that same exact, like, ingredients thing every time I wash my brushes. So I wanted to see how this works. And if you guys want, I can do, like, a comparison when I do the ones that, like, I usually, like, the, I guess, recipe I do versus the elf brush and i would do like the exact same brush with the exact same eyeshadow and stuff like maybe i'll do like a black eyeshadow on it and i'll see how that one does and then i'll see how the other one does let me know in the comments if you want me to do that i talk fast i should get like an award for talking fast then i got the blending eye brush because i don't remember who used this i think it might have been oh crap i forgot her username her name's liz she's really pretty blonde she said she lives in florida so gorgeous it's like makeup 92 or something something like that but i don't you love when like you find out gurus live in your same state and you're just like oh my gosh and yeah no okay well maybe that's just talia but whatever and then i got the elf brush daily cleanser daily brush cleanser why do i switch those two with i don't know but i got this and i wanted to Maybe compare it to the MAC one. So let me know about that too. Maybe I can do like combine the videos. Do this one, the e.l.f. daily one. And then also the other one. So let me know. Oh, we still have a lot. I think I'm going to do lashes now. Okay, I have a natural eye kit. These were, these, these were a dollar. And they just don't really look that natural. But I think I got these from my mom. Yeah. And then I definitely got these for me because they're so pretty. Um, these are the everyday lashes, which I don't, I, I mean, I can see them kind of being everyday lashes, but not really. Now, e.l.f. lashes always have that, like, little, like, snitch right there. I always just cut that off um, because, like, it's like a little snitch and it's just, like, ugh. So just, if you get them, cut them off. Now, Elf Lashes, I really do like. I wish the band was a little bit thinner, but these new ones that come in, like, the two sets, I really, really like the band better on these than the, um, dollar ones. Um, it really just depends on which ones you get. Some of them have really thick bands, and some of them have, like, really thin bands. Like, these, these have thin bands. I think the other ones did, too. But these are the Natural Lash Kit, and the Elf glue that comes with it, I'm not a fan of. I can't really use it because my eyes water really badly sometimes so no lash glue lashes amaze balls um and then i got the flirty lash collection which i liked better online because i feel like they're gonna look way too spiked on me or like i don't know but this is what they look like Oh, yeah. Okay, let me find... Oh, wait, I got more brushes. I need to, like, chill out with the brushes. Oh, I got... <laughs> I got another powder brush for me, and then I got another one for my sister. So, as you can see, I'm already doing my Christmas shopping. And then the rest is, I believe, is eyes and lips. But I'll do the eyes. Oh, and cheek. I got some cheek stuff. I'm excited for. Alright, I'll do the eyes super quick. Let me just get all of it. 
Okay, so the first thing I got was the eyebrow kit. Ow, pain. Ow, okay. Is the eyebrow kit, and I got this one in medium, I believe. It says medium powder, so yeah. Um, Hopefully, it'll match me. It looks like it'll match. Like, the powder looks better than the, the gel stuff. But, yeah, so hopefully it'll look good. Hey, tell me about, okay, should I get my eyebrows threaded? Or should I just, like, I don't know. Because, like, I don't want to wax them. Because I, I used to do that. And, like, I love the results. But, like, over time, it can make your eyes saggy. Don't ask me why I'm worried about that right now. But I just, I don't know. I'm really about prevention. So... I want to get them threaded super bad, and I love the way they look. And um, so, yeah, tell me if you guys have gotten yours threaded, and do you like them? Do you not like them? Places you recommend in Florida, maybe? So, yeah, I got that, and um, I'm going to see how that goes. And I got two single eyeshadows. I got one in Pebble and one in Saddle. So they're pretty similar. This one's more of a cooler brown. This one's more of a warmer brown. So yeah, oh, you guys, I, I think I got the camera, the camera that I want. It's actually, I went to Best Buy today, and it's actually a Sony camera, which I never thought I would get a Sony camera, not because I don't have anything, like, against Sony. I just really wanted, I had my mind set on a Canon, and I think it's because all the other beauty gurus use the Canon T3i, the Canon Rebel, um, T4i, and all that, and the Sony one that I want is the only camera, like, not the only one in the world, but, like, one of the only ones that lets you autofocus during video. And, like, I know you can autofocus on other one, but it's completely different. And it's, like, some, like, technical thing where, like, the T4i and the T3i, even they say they autofocus, they can't really autofocus during filming, if you know what I mean. It's really weird, and that's just what the guy told me, so if that's wrong, don't, like, be mean. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay, back to haul. Oh, and the video on the Q&A for middle school will be up in about a month or so just because my um, computer and my, they're like colliding and it's, I, it'll be up eventually. I haven't forgot about it, but it'll be up probably after a, a few videos. But, okay, back to the haul. This is the brightening eye color for only a dollar, and I got it in brownstone. I'm really excited to use this because it has a great highlight shade. I'm trying to do the $20 makeup challenge, but I only want to use products that I really, really, really love, and I don't want to use a lot of e.l.f. And <sighs> so, yeah, it has a great highlight shade, a great blending shade, a great like um, crease color, and then a great defining color. So I could definitely use that as like a defining color and underneath my lower lash line. This as the crease color, that as the blending color, and that as a highlight color. For a buck, um, I think, yes. So I did get some of the baked blushes. I only got two because I'm not really a fan of baked stuff. I like my stuff fried. So, yeah. But I got the first one in the shade Pinktastic, and I got this one because I want to use it as a highlight. Look, look, from the, from my mirror over there, it has like a circle on it. <laughs> I got this as a highlighter because it's Judy Time did a first impression on these, and she said this one was more like a highlighter. So I'm much more into highlighters than I am into shimmery blushes. So I got that one to be used as that. But then I also got Rich, Rich Rose which is more of like a mauve color, which I do like for the winter to give me a little bit of a glow, yet still have some dark, deep color in it. So I got these. Tell me if you guys want a first impression or like a review or whatever, or like best and worst of Elf. Yeah. So many people were like, Talia, since you became like bigger on YouTube, you only use high-end products. Honey Boo Boo, that is not true. Alright, I got an conditioning lip balm with SPF 15 and it's in peaceful pink and I love lip balms like they're like everything to me so this is the thing and it's pretty little compared to like the big freaking packaging like I hate when else does that 
Next is um, a lip stain, which I'm so excited about. It's like this berry berry color. Um, I have a lip stain on now. Like I said, this one's from Pop Beauty. Uh, I forgot what the color is in. But it looks more orange in person. It's showing up like red on camera. But this one is Berry Blush. And I do indeed want to open it. Oh, and you guys have been asking me what kind of videos I have planned. Um, for the holidays, I have a couple tutorials. But I haven't even filmed. So let me know about tutorials. And as well as maybe even a swap or two. I don't know. Oh, I'm not strong. Do you see what I just did? Like, I freaking annihilated the package. Okay, so it comes, like, in a pen thing. That really sucks. That is not the color of this. Maybe you could build it up. Oh, my God. Hmm. I did it like half, half, double, not, I don't know about this. That made me sad. Come on, it's not that hard to make a lip stain, like honestly. You can make lip, stary, lip, st lip stains out of raspberries. Okay, so then I got three of the matte lip colors. I got... Nearly Nude Coral and Natural. So I'm so excited for these because I love matte lips. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And yeah. Alright, bye guys.